That's more movement than they ever could imagine. Just doing that. Yeah, that is. They said that's the most movement they have ever seen somebody have with someone with this injury. When I started going to physical therapy in July, I basically uh, talked to my physical therapist and she said that I'd be able to return to wrestling, but it wouldn't be till November or next year even. And I already got on the phone and I called DJ Hyde and I already set my return for September 10th. Basically, I started creatively thinking, you know, we gotta, I gotta do something different. Let's do a vignette. No one does a vignette. So basically, I disappeared for three months. We did that vignette and we aired it on iPay-Per-View at CCW. We got a lot of people psyched up for my return. That was, it was do or die at that point. It's either go big or go home. So I get to the building that day and I said, Leo, uh, you know what, I think I'm gonna climb on these beams and I'm gonna fall off and give you an elbow. I, I promise you, you will be all right. You know, I definitely wasn't ready to be in the ring. With my injury, I definitely didn't work out in the ring beforehand. I didn't go to the gym. It was basically, all right, you're taking this brace off, and now you're getting back in the ring. It was in, all in the same week. You know, and then once again, I had to deal with the backlash, and I had to deal with the acclaim, and I had to deal with, you're an idiot, or you're a legend. This is what I want to do, obviously, and obviously I'm not going to change for no one, so you can, you can share your opinions about me, you can share your opinions about my style, about my spots, but it really isn't going to change a thing about my mentality and the way I go about my day, the way I go about my wrestling.